All right, got another build here. This is a uh, Axial Yeti Score Trophy Truck Kit. This was a uh, winter project I finished up uh, last month. I picked this up at Christmas time. Tower Hobbies had them on sale for 100 bucks off. I had pretty good luck building my Axial Bomber Kit. So I uh, decided to grab one of these up. And it's, uh, it's a pretty neat kit. It's huge. It's uh, a lot bigger than the uh, Tamiya stuff I usually build. And I do give Axial credit for pretty much everything they make, almost, they offer as a kit. And uh, other than the uh, race kits, uh, Tamiya is still one of the only ones that gives you a kit option. And when I was a kid 30 years ago, when I first started building these things, everything was a kit. Now you gotta hunt them down. And um, Axial still makes everything a kit. And they they make it a lot of fun to build. So uh, first things first, the body I have on here, this isn't the uh, kit body, this is the uh, Proline Raptor body for it. Um, I thought the kit body was pretty thin. As usual with kit bodies, it, the, the Lexan seems to be pretty thin. And um, Ax the uh, Proline stuff is uh, usually a lot thicker. So uh, it's a heavy kit, it's a big heavy kit. So I wanted to uh, put some on there that would take some hits. And um, as usual, the uh, Proline stuff turned out pretty good. I just wanted a basic paint job on it. Um, just white and I tried to capture uh, some of the colors from the kit with the blue and the orange and the silver on there um, just to break it up but I don't want to put a whole lot of time in the paint so uh, pearl white with a few details here and there I did paint the uh, headlights the grill and uh, I did the tail lights back here as well so that's, that's as good as it gets pretty basic kit so let me um, pull the body off here um, has this really nice build so the uh the body if anybody's built one of these or is looking to build one of these um, it's got this cage in here um it gives you an option to build it without the cage uh i was kind of nervous about cutting it all out and putting this cage on here um but they really they really made it easy and at the end of the day it really reinforces the body i went through and did like i do with most of my kits and I did the uh, fiberglass tape and shoe goo at the uh, key points and especially where these screws go through the body here, I did the fiberglass tape and shoe goo to reinforce everything. But, but this thing with the uh, cage on it, man, it's really, really rigid. Um, pretty neat, add some weight, um, but the scale look of this thing is, uh, it turned out really nice. So I give, I give the axial credit for that and the Proline body turned out really good for this kit. Um, underneath the uh, driver figure here, I did the same thing. I just shot it with silver. I painted the driver helmet silver. Used the uh, axial decals. And I did the same thing underneath on here. I used the uh, shoe goo and fiberglass tape uh, to reinforce these things. Um, I didn't do that on my bomber kit and the uh, driver figure ended up splitting. So hopefully this thing uh, lasts a little bit longer because this is pretty thin lex in here. Um, the kit. All right, um, so mostly a stock build. I did a few minor updates. Uh, sorry for these squeaky wheels here. Um, first thing I did was uh, I went with all stainless steel hardware in here. Uh, guys from Team K&K &K Hardware. Uh, they're real good. They, uh, they helped me out a lot. And um, the guy emailed me when I was missing a couple screws and he really took his time to get me the stuff that I needed. I used the uh, stock screws on my bomber kit and um, just from rinsing the thing off, they rusted. So I went ahead and spent the money and put all the stainless steel hardware on here. And um, I think it finished things out really nice. Um, same thing back here, the uh, suspension in the back. I went with aluminum uprights on the sway bar and then aluminum upper arms here to replace the plastic stuff because my bomber kit, I had these break as well. So I decided to uh, just go ahead and put them on on the initial build and order those parts. On the front suspension here, sorry for the squeaky tires, what are you gonna do? Um, I did the uh, hot racing sway bar in there. The kit comes with a rear sway bar. Um, but I went with a hot racing one in there. The front end, the uh, the stock suspension is really loose. Matter of fact, these are the stiffer axial springs I put on here. I don't know the exact part number. Um, but uh, the stiffer springs did help out a little bit um, as well as the sway bar. As far as electronics go, I went with a uh, Hobby Wing Max 10 SCT uh, short course ESC, and with that, I went with the uh, Hobby Wing um, Easy Run 
3660, it's a long can, uh, 4,000 kV uh, motor. Um, I'm only gonna run this 2S, all my batteries are 2S, so um, I went ahead with the 4,000 kV motor um, to get as much RPM as I could. And um, who knows, maybe later I get a 3S pack, see how that runs. Um, but the uh, Hobby Wing did say that, that 4,000 kV that's the highest you can go on 3S, so we'll see how that runs on 2S. Um, as far as the steering goes, I have a, uh, flip this thing over here. I got a Savox uh, 1210 SG, 1210 SG, SW1210 SG, excuse me. It's a uh, waterproof digital servo, high torque. And I've used these in a couple other kits. They work out really well. And uh, one of the things about that particular servo, when you start getting to the high torque servos, is they need a, they need some juice. And um, this one requires at least five amps. And the uh, ESC in here puts out four amps. And so what I did was I uh, installed a uh, Castle BEC 2.0, the waterproof BEC. You can see the lines here are ran uh, right off the hot leads on the battery. So this is drawing uh, juice direct from the battery on there. And uh, what that does is uh, I hooked it up to the, uh, the uh, Castle link on the computer. And I have this putting out 7.4 volts at up to 15 amps. So that's driving that... Uh, 1210SG in there, it gives it all the power that it needs. So you got a really good response, really heavy duty servo in there. Uh, worked out pretty well. I've only taken it for one quick test run in the backyard. I haven't really taken it out and bashed it around yet. But overall, this is a really nice build. I think uh, I think Axial stuff, man, they really, for those of us, like I said, I, I, I grew up in the 80s and uh, my first kit was the uh, Tamiya knockoff Hornet. And um, I built dozens and dozens and dozens of kits over the uh, last 30 years. And uh, only kind of getting back into the hobby the last few years after a uh, short hiatus. And nothing's a kit anymore. Everything is a uh, ready to run. And uh, it's nice to see that Axial puts out uh, kits for most of their stuff. And they're fun to build. They're, they're relatively easy to build. Uh, time consuming, but easy. And um, this one's no exception. This is, this is a really neat kit. Um, a lot of neat stuff out there for it. Uh, the only upgrade I haven't uh, installed yet on it is the uh, rear axle. I ordered the uh, beef tubes, as they're called. And um, they're the uh, steel tubes to go through the uh, axle back there to give the axle some reinforcement. And um, I'm going to go ahead and disassemble the axle and uh, install those. But uh, overall, neat kit, neat build. I'm happy with it. Um, I should do a video on my bomber. I was actually really really happy with the bomber build last year um, Christmas time and I, I put that together last winter as I tend to do most winters is uh, find a kit to build I'm gonna run out of room in the house eventually um, but I, uh, I think they did a good job with it and um, like I said I'm happy with how everything turned out I might paint the uh, body it came with uh, maybe try to make it box stock uh, maybe order another set of the uh, hardware back here to uh, put the cage on there who knows um, but overall fun build and uh, some mild upgrades and I'm looking forward to taking the kit out thanks for watching